Emma's got a really consistent kicker in this couple of years. Will Riker at 18 to 23 on the season, and he hammers it right through. Emma's got a really consistent kicker in this couple of years. Will Riker at 18 to 23 on the season, and he hammers it right through. Zamir White, call him Zeus. In the backfield, they fake it to him. Bennett pressured on the rollout, and he's going to be sacked immediately. Christian Harris got there, and it's a big loss. And they fake it to Bowers. Here's a downfield shot. George Pickens, a diving catch. As the elite receiver has waited a long time to make a play like that in the big game. Bootleg wants to take a shot downfield and slammed to the ground. That was Dallas Turner, that other talented young inside linebacker. Jack Pudlesny, reliable kicker, 20 of 25 this year. This from 24 yards right down the middle. A much needed rest, Kirk. That long drive gave him a chance to recover. Trying to get after Young, who launches to Williams, who's wide open down the field. How, you wonder. He's to the Georgia 35. The main target staying down, though, and gripping his knee. Reichardt was good earlier from 37. And hammers this one through from 45. But a big job to do in the meantime. Young across the middle. It's caught. And Latu running down the field. Can they track the tight end down? They try to punch the ball free. They can't. He's inside the 10. In the SEC championship game. Sack Bryce Young. Reichard providing all the Alabama points so far. But Lesney, this is the longest field goal attempt of the season, but within his range in his career, and that's a beauty. Now back off the line of scrimmage. Young across the middle. Catch made. Jai Hall works his way free, and the freshman steps off in the absence of Williams and makes a big play. And White slips out of a tackle. Cuts through a crease and barrels into Alabama territory. There goes Zeus. 30 yards. Three tight ends in the game for Georgia. And it's a flea flicker. Bennett looking downfield and just throws it away. It was Bowers running down the middle. Pickles is over on the left. Without Holly, we've seen a couple of guys make plays. The passing game has actually been clicking. They just haven't found the end zone. Young. Launches downfield to Billingsley, and it's picked off by Smith. The safety was lurking back there. The tight end was well covered, and the dogs with tonight's first takeaway. Alabama's side, that might be because their big play guy is out of there. Robinson finally making a play, breaking tackles, showing some determination, and that gets a roar from the Bama fans who have waited all night to see a run like that. The reliable right card tries to make it four for four tonight, but it's blocked. The dogs are very good at blocking field goals. That's the third this season, and the lead is still three. Cook makes a cut. He's got blazing speed. James Cook in a foot race. Can the tie track him down? They finally get him inside the 15. Battles save the touchdown, but the dogs instantly threaten. He's over on the left side. And Zeus White muscles in the first touchdown of this championship game, and Georgia claims its first lead. Got away from Stetson Bennett. How fortunate is he to hold on to that ball? We're all caught up in the big guys, right? We're looking out there. Oh, my gosh. Look at Jordan Davis. Look at Jalen Carter. Suddenly, Bama inside the 35. Young launching downfield. Catch is made by Hall. Dropped one earlier. No mistake that time. He beat Chris Smith. Instead, he sends out Ryan Carden from 21. And he does not get through. Makes it third and eight. 
Here comes the pressure. Bennett immediately on the run. He'll be chased down. Tries to make a desperation heave. Harris had him in the grass. That ball nowhere near back to the line of scrimmage. Well, no, I think he was calling that. I think, I don't know if that ball came out of his hand before his arm came forward, but the referee was right there. Discussing whether it perhaps was a fumble. He threw, a of he, of the he, he threw the beam back down. Rolling on the field is a fumble yeah. recovered by the defense. First down. Pressure. Young. Touchdown! On the run, he found Latou. Tides first touchdown and Alabama reclaims the lead with 10 14 to play. The two here, and I want you to watch what he does at the top of his route. See him push there at the end of the route, gets the separation. The defensive backs on his backside is safety Christopher Smith. Who can make a play? It was Pickens earlier with the long catch, Cook with the electric run, and now on first down, Bennett was a long throw. And it's Burton who makes the play. McKinstry pushes him out first down across the 40. Bowers hasn't yet gotten involved in this half. Keep in mind the tight end is their top receiver. Bennett hammered, pressured, and knocked down from behind. About 6'4", 245 pounds. And he pressures the quarterback with that same relentless approach. And that's too much speed and power for a pretty good blocking tight end. Fitzpatrick. Now another flag. Bennett launching. Mitchell. Free play! The dogs retake the lead! He sees Tim Smith jump. He says, what the heck? Let's go to the young corner. We've gone after him here a little bit on this drive. Let's take a shot with my freshman Mitchell against Jackson. Ball underthrown just a bit. Jackson never turns to find the ball. And a great job again by a Georgia player locking in to secure the football. Dogs have not tried a two-point conversion this season. Haven't had a need to until right now. I don't like this spot at all. It's third and one. They're going to throw for it. Bowers has got it. He's going to block it. Touchdown, Georgia. And there is a flag down, though. Hold on. There's a flag near the line of scrimmage. Bennett says it's on Bama. I think they hit him. I think they hit Stetson Bennett after he released the football. Jordan Battle on a blitz came through. And hit Stetson Bennett in the face. You had a feeling the guy as talented as Brock Bowers, who's made an impact from the moment he arrived on campus, had a big game in the opener against Clemson. Personal foul, rough in the passer, number nine, defense. The result of the play is a touchdown. Here's the here's the, the pressure here, here, nobody picks up Brock Bowers. Eventually, Toe Toe thinks I gotta get out there, but his eyes were in the backfield. There you can see Battle hit Stetson Bennett, but nobody out there. And Bowers is able to get free and walk into the end zone. Bama kind of rolling the dice, hoping that they would get to, to Bennett. Nobody takes Brock Bowers. That's an easy touchdown. Georgia brings pressure. Young back pedals and delivers a strike across the middle to Robinson. First down to the 43. Biggest third down in Bryce Young's career. He need 10. Play clock at four. From the pocket. Launching downfield. Underthrown and intercepted. Keely Ringo has an escort down the sidelines. All the way to the end zone. And Georgia is going to conquer the Crimson Tide. Yeah, he's to the outside. The receiver's to the outside. Bryce, is, he didn't get pressure, but he, I don't know if he's expecting a back shoulder throw or bringing Holden back, whatever it might have been. But unlike Kendrick, Ringo gets his eyes on the ball, and he sees that it's underthrown and adjusts back and makes that interception. As you said, he had a convoy in front of him. It wasn't just about securing this. And look at Kirby in the background. <laughs> That's elevation. That was 38 inches right there by Kirby Smart. We saw the speed earlier. There's the vertical jump. Yeah. Ringo is a freshman. His first interception. Bennett responding after the fumble with a tremendous throw and catch. And then the pick six to wow. seal it. And one more play for the Georgia defense. Georgia on the mountaintop. 
demons be gone and the drought is over. High short kick. Dejon Edwards. Oh man, he took a shot at the 20, but he bounced out to around the 23 yard line. Receivers to the bottom. Bowers is the other way. McIntosh runs behind Bowers. First down and then so. Bennett over the middle again. This time. From 47 yards out. Kick on the way. Dead center. Good opener for Tennessee. They had it moving. Both tight ends and McConkey in tight on the left side as Bennett drops to throw. Going to air it out. Man out there, and it's caught. Arian Smith. Big play for the dogs. The speedster number 11. Longest reception for any wide receiver, not tight end, for the Bulldogs all season. Their previous 37 yards by Ladd McConkey. First down at the 28. Back to the ground, McIntosh. Little move in the hole, and he's still moving. Kenny McIntosh all the way to the 13. Nice tip. Georgia can get a first down around the three. Bennett, pressure coming. Got away from one man, and now he's going to tuck it and go with it. Got the first down. He might have the touchdown. And there's some there, but I think he's leaning with the shoulder. There is a piece of the crown there, though, on that. What they'll look at now. And the ruling is touchdown. The Stetson Bennett hold. Extra point is up and good. Football's not hard to figure out. And they go hurry up, as they always do, generally in a way, and it's right back to the same guy. And it's a first down. See, I get a feeling on those two quick passes to just to play for the guys that went to the NFL a year ago. Third down at six. Hooker. Now he's going for the knockout shot. Hyatt's out there, and he overshot him. Incomplete, fourth down. Byron Young in that front of Tennessee will get in their track stance here. Well, they're in their bare front. They usually blitz this front. And they do. Here they come. Rowe is a little bit behind the receiver, but Dominic Blaylock should have had it, I think. Kind of took his eyes off it for a moment. Down at the goal line. From his own end zone. He waited too long, and down he goes. And it's going to be a safety. Did the ball get out, though? I think it might have been recovered by Tennessee. Jalen Carter punched it out of there. Now they're going to decide was that pass rush was a factor. He gets his arm. It's a fumble. It's picked up. It's fumbled again at the line. Did the offensive line. Chaz Chambliss was holding on for dear life, trying to bring down a 340-pounder. After video review, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. Pass down the other goal. Oh, my. Brooks, quick kick. Got it out. McConkey calls fair catch, and he's going to take it around the 37-yard line. So, great field position for Georgia. It's still a field goal. Dejon Edwards behind Stetson Bennett, who's under center with Brock Bowers, the motion man. Play fake. Bennett loads it. Fires to the end zone. McConkey touchdown. One play. Six more points for Georgia. Uh, it's called an out and up. Down touchdown. Watch it. Just a little wiggle, and he's gone. A little wiggle, and he's gone. Easy throw. Perfect call. Take advantage of the team that's reeling. Sudden change. Make they add to their lead. Hooker. Hit as he threw. And it took a hop, I think, to Hyatt, didn't it? I don't think. 
Georgia 107 passing yards already. Kenny McIntosh checks back in with Bennett in the Georgia backfield. Second down and nine. Bennett. Gonna go deep again. Kenny McIntosh out of the backfield and on the run. All the way down inside the 15. Another chunk play. 17 yards. This time they set him up on the wheel route. And he runs right by it. And you don't want to overthrow that. I get it. A perfect offensive lineman, one of them that can really catch the ball. Both of them just shifted from the right side to the left side. From the seven-yard line, second down and three. Dejan Edwards is going to have a first down, I think. Forward progress got him to the four, which is where they needed to get. Up quickly at the four-yard line, first and goal. Toss Kenny McIntosh, and he's dropped for a loss. Yeah, he bobbled the ball, and I don't think he ever got his momentum going. Bennett looks left, goes high. Touchdown! Rosemary Jack Saint in the very back of the end zone. See if he got one foot down. He got two foot down. That's all you need. <laughs> and you're taught when you throw the ball to the end zone, just keep it just under the crossbar. Okay, your guy goes up. These guys can all go up and get it. Watch it. Just under the crossbar. And That's the end for the point after. And it hits the upright, doesn't it? Skinned it in. It skinned down towards the quarterback. And un Tennessee like first quarter as you saw that graphic more punts and mistakes than anything else Hooker on a crossing route incomplete intended for his tight end and there comes a late flag Jacob Warren was the intended receiver I think was it Christopher Smith that time 29 that yeah, was in the cover so please holding defense number 22 10 yard penalty from the previous spot includes automatic first down they call it on Javon Bullard the safety has slowed down the pass game. That last catch was Brew McCoy, not Jalen Hyatt. Third down at five. Down the middle, and good throw and catch. Jacob Warren, first down to the tight end. No other way to do it if you're the Tennessee offense. you got to take what this defense is giving you right now. Four down territory. Blitz coming. Tennessee picks it up. Hooker trying to deliver it to Tillman. And now we got another flag on Georgia. This one's going to be on Keely Ringo. Yeah. Defense number five. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. It an automatic first down. Throw by Hooker. Caught by Tillman. He reverses field. And this is what he does so well. Tennessee averages about 3.3 passing touchdowns a game. Georgia. Oh, another one. Five all year. Another penalty. That's four pre-snap penalties. All start. Offense. Number 58. Five-yard penalty. And start down. And this offensive line for Tennessee. Much louder atmosphere for this Tennessee offense. Third down and seven. So there's another flag. There is nothing that -star. Georgia is All showing. Now they're almost out of the red zone. Back at the 19. Blitz coming. Hooker stands in over the middle. Incomplete intended for his tight end and broken up by Javon Bullard. But Javon Bullard is... Chase McGrath comes in. Seven-man blitz from the Georgia defense on that last play. 36-yard field goal attempt for McGrath, who hit from 47 earlier, and this one's up and perfect. So the turnover early, they force a field goal. A good drive again, forcing a field goal. Georgia defense feels good about that. And when you're talking about this group that Georgia has, it's not a good combo. They stop Bowers short of the first, second down at a yard. They get the yard and about three more. First down, Georgia. For Dejon Edwards. Dejon coming off a big game last week, career high at over 100. 
Third down and nine. Georgia will have to earn this one. Kenny McIntosh back in the Georgia backfield. We know what he can do as a receiver out of that backfield. And we're going to have a false start on Georgia. False start. Offense, number 19. Five-yard penalty. Third down. He just got up here, though. Georgia's been two for three on third down. This is a big one. Third and 14. Quick throw out in the flat. And it's going to be a punting situation. Kiaris Jackson, a little wide out screen, but McCullough had that. It is today we got 93 here. As the sun shines on the Tennessee balls on their end of the field, trailing 21 to 6. Hendon Hooker got it to Cedric Tillman. Tillman still running. And he's going to pick up about 17 before Georgia can track. Short. Well, they didn't give him the first down. Third down at about a foot. Hooker under center. Into the middle of that pile. I don't think Jalen Wright got there, but let's wait and see. I think Robert Beal, number 33, was the first guy to get back there inside. And almost, I think... Bullard as well coming off the edge and they didn't make it. See Bullard and Beal on the inside. Measuring. It's fourth down. Here's a must-have. And with that, Hooker runs it. And that helps their cause when he's moving like that. Now they'll go fast. Get a first down. Get another first down. Get a chance now to run their defense. First down at the 39 of Georgia. Hooker going to go long to the near corner to Tillman. And it's intercepted by Keely Ringo. It's fight all the way down the field. Pushing, shoving, staying in phase, turning around, finding the ball, and making a wonderful play. Four minutes and change remaining here in the quarter. Edwards, straight up the middle. Into the secondary, still going all the way out to the 45-yard line. Available. And now Edwards trots out as a receiver to the top of your screen. Empty backfield for Stetson Bennett. First down at the 45. Bennett takes a short route across the middle and is going to be close to a first down for Rosemary Jack Saints. Stetson. They've got second down at 10 at the Tennessee 43. Complete McConkey first down and more. And I tell you what, when you climb that pocket and you have ability to go into that, instead of running, you got a quarterback that wants to throw the ball. That's ingrained in Stetson Bennett. Right on the bottom of your screen with his palms down. And then a dual jump pass to McConkey. He's inside the 10. First down, Georgia with 12 seconds left. They tried the wheels. McIntosh comes out to join Rosemary Jack Saint down to the bottom left side. The other three receivers to the right. Tennessee corner blitz. Quick throw to Gary Call. McIntosh down to the Time two. Timeout. All right. See, with seven seconds now, you can still get two plays if they don't score. Does he take three, or does he try to score with two plays? Kendall Milton in the backfield with Stetson Bennett. He switches sides. Bowers down to the bottom of your screen. It's a rollout by Bennett and a throw to the corner, and it's broken up. Incomplete. And it was slaughter. So now he's going to take field. He's going to take points with it. Actually cost him another play. A little I bit. Mean, yeah. You know, it's here nor there. You never know. But in retrospect, they'd love to have one more. So short field goal. At 19 yards is up and good. And that will end the half. And that'll make it a three-score game, which is what Kirby said to Stetson. Stay away. I'm taking the points. When he scrambled early, that was a big difference. Tennessee, remember, in that situation, it was third and long. And that's where we're sitting right now, 24-6. to six. And right now, Tennessee says, this is the drive we have to have. No doubt. And they're going to keep it on the ground for the first couple yards of it. And Jalen Wright, and Jalen Wright popped out of there. Jalen Wright, I don't know how he got out of that pack, and he gets out to the 40, but was the whistle blown? I thought it was. Stuffed inside. You know, this defensive line lost a lot of talent. They're holding up fine. Here's a quick throw. Jalen Hyatt, who's been not really a factor, going to get a first down, I think. And they're trying to go fast in that third quarter. 
Everybody up tight and close. Whoa, I don't know. And then Hooker with the quarterback sneak. He didn't need much, but he didn't get much, I'll tell you that. Yeah, and you know they got to get to the 35 because it was a touchback on the kickoff. So it's fourth down. It's like the goal line. And they got it that time. Up and over by Jalen Wright. Yeah, you can beat me. Play action. Hooker double pumps. Throws high but complete to Tillman. That's a first down. You know, widest defender stack for offensive receiver stack right there. And now Hooker on a keeper. And then Hooker got about 13 before he's run out of bounds at the 40 in Georgia. 11th play of the drive and the biggest one of the drive so far. Third down and 13. Blitz coming off the corner. Hooker's in trouble. He's going down. Dropped at midfield by Warren. Since then, there has not been the pressure on Stetson Bennett. Can Tennessee get some pressure on this quarterback? Jackson and McConkey to the right side where Bowers is in the slot. A third and six. Bennett fires complete to McConkey. He's been one of his main targets today. First down, Georgia. Seems like they have really served. And the rain starts to fall in Athens. Just kind of popped up out of nowhere. First down run by McIntosh. Georgia getting a little head of steam on this drive, both through the air and on the ground. Upstetson Bennett. Third down and nine. McConkey in motion up top. Bowers is on that side with him. The throw is going to McConkey with Bowers blocking for him. And McConkey's got not only a first down, but a lot more. All the way to the 40 yard line. Third down and two. Edwards gets it this time. First down, Georgia, and he's still going again, backpedaling for the second time on this drive. Yeah, now barring a few. Third down and six. They need to get to the 16 for a first down. McIntosh only got about a yard. Yep, same thing. They're going to. I would assume. Bennett will hold. This will be a 37-yard attempt for Jack Podlesny. Up and good. Tack three more on for the dogs. Still a three possession lead, but now about six and a half yards, and they needed to pressure up the middle. And finally, they get a little crossing route on a slant to Jalen Hyatt, who has not been a factor. Whereas Hinton Hooker catches it and just turns right there at six. Means the edge rushers have a tough time getting there. Try a draw play, and the ball is out, and Georgia's got it. Plus fumble. If it's done by 88, blows it up, reaches from behind, and makes the play. It's five number one draft picks in the Kobe Dean. Remember, Georgia, last time they had a sudden change and a one-play touchdown from that spot, and now the ball is out for Georgia, and Tennessee's got it back. They do. So it's getting a little slippery down there, and both tailbacks on back-to-back -back plays cough it up. It's funny, number 20 fumbled for Tennessee and number 20 recovered. just recovered for Tennessee. <laughs> Robinson in the game. Helmet right on the football that time. That makes the play, and it was Flowers right on the football. That might have come out even if it was a dry football. Down at four to open the quarter at their own 40-yard line. Light box, very light box. Just five people in the box for Tennessee. With that, they'll keep it on the ground to Jalen Wright, and he's got a first down and almost a face mask at the end of that play. Absolutely, because the run is always available. Georgia brings an extra rusher. Hooker finally going deep. Man there. McCoy, and he overshot him. Probably two-down territory right here for Hooker. A third and three. The throw's complete. It's a first down anyway to Cedric Tillman again. Down of four, beg your pardon. Georgia again with that shift on their front wall. 
Hooker, the quick look to the right, the high throw is incomplete intended. Oh, flag's coming in. Keely Ringo lost his helmet and he lost his receiver. Receivers, and here we go again. Five more yards. That was the talk all week, that this set of receivers for Tennessee was very similar to that 2019 group. Five-yard penalty. And the Georgia defenders are asking for more of it. Hooker is going down again. Same blitz that got it before. Three-man line. Bring the rush off the slot. They catch them. Either go to McCoy or Tillman up in the air. Let them jump up and try to make a play. Another one. Another false start. Another false start. They could feel the blitz coming. I think it was right to get moved before the snap. False start. Offense. Number 88. Five yard penalty. Nice first down. Uh, for us. When they played at Tennessee, remember? Yep. Now it's fourth down and a prayer. Hooker will he even have time to get rid of this one. He will not. The Georgia defense just uh -oh. eating up things. Uh oh, right at the end. They're going to get a first down here. Face mask or late hit? For 11, Walker. Personal foul, face mask. You're right, Gary. Defense number 13. 13. 15 yards Boy. I mean, there's no hope for a first down. first down. And you beat this time it was Williams. End of the play. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him by the face mask. Definitely don't need to do that. And I actually think it was Walker that had the, he got the wrong. And then Hooker's throwing a touchdown pass in 20 straight games. He still doesn't have one today, but they need one. Blitz. Hooker going down again. He's same blitz. Javon Buller, fourth down. Hooker, that one sailed on him due to the weather, I think, and incomplete. Georgia takes over on downs. And as Gary said, inside track to everything they've been looking for in defending their ground. Edwards trying to weave it outside. Nice job. Banks again makes the stop around the 15. Absolutely. Average 200 on the ground and 328 through the air. This punt fielded around the 40. That's where the Volunteers will have it back. But they don't have a lot of time. Came up limping a little bit after that run as well. Hooker, quick throw behind his receiver, but he still pulled it in. Brew McCoy and McCoy and his blockers. Sublimate. I haven't seen a missed tackle by Georgia all day. Yeah, they really have done a nice job in the open field. Hooker's got plenty of time this time and throws a strike over to McCoy again. So we got a flag down. Still without a touchdown. And only 446 remaining in the ball game. Hooker's in trouble. Got away from it. Now he can't throw and he walks out of bounds with a one-yard gain. Amazing. Tennessee knew from the alignment that it was man-to-man -man coverage. All year, those receivers. This might be the last time they touch the ball if they don't get a first down. Here it comes again, man coverage. Throws down the middle and got it. A strike down near the five-yard line to Hyatt. They got the play they wanted. Seems a little late, though. And they got a touchdown as well on the next play, Jalen Wright. So first it was... Bit very nicely by that offensive line that time. Extra point is good. For now, and here it comes. Going the other way. And George's Darnell Washington's got it right at the ten and a half yard mark. Yeah, that was a good stop by the Demons. His tight end, along with Darnell Washington, both lined up on the right side of the formation. And he will throw. And he's going to go for all of it. Man out there. Broken up, it was Arian Smith. And a nice job defensively by Wesley Walker. Dooley Field in his face mask. Second down, a short two. Jalen Wright's got the first down. 
Well, this one's manageable at third down and three. Hooker goes across the middle, broken up, complete intended for McCoy. And now they've shown their play because Jalen Wright went in motion and now stopped in the slot on the right, so Georgia knows where he is. Hooker thought about running. Now it's too late to run. Down he goes. Ryan Davis with another Georgia sack. Under five. It's there now. Now the quick clap. All the way down to one. And the toss to Edwards. Edwards broke one tackle. Weaving his way. That'll do it. What First down, Georgia. Forced a couple. Snap. And Georgia goes to 9-0. 6-0 in the conference. And the only storming of the field here is the Georgia players to go surround their quarterback and shake hands with the opposition.